I want to encourage you guys to really push yourselves in life. Like there's been, right now, there's a lot of uncertainty in the world. And just know there, there's a point where you might have the best opportunity. If, you, if there's some idea that you're thinking about, say, I want to start this business or I want to get this going on the side or, you know, potentially a lot of people have had a lot of time right now to kind of think and really evaluate where they're at in life. And I want to encourage you guys, like there's a point where you got the best opportunity right in front of you and there's a point, you just have to jump, right? You have to make sure that, you know, you, you've, you've obviously educated yourself on what you're trying to do and you understand the, the risks, but there's a point where you just have to go for it, right? And I just, I have to really enforce the idea that we create our own reality every single day. No one else is going to say, here you go. Here's your success. Here's your success story. Here it is. Like there has to be a point where you just take it, right? Where you just go out there, you work harder and you want it more than anybody else out there and you get it. Whatever we focus on is what we create. Just remember that. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution where we talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into the video, I want to ask everybody smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to keep you up to date daily to make sure that you're very successful in the cryptocurrency space. Trying to get a like spike going, trying to get a thousand likes a video. Hit that like button for me. Let me give a couple shout outs to people in my trading group because we've been killing it. This person stated, it's been 11 days since I joined your group. I turned 4,000 into 14,000 in just a few days. This person stated, I'm up from 280 euros to 3,100 euros in total. So that's about 10x this person, 3x his portfolio. This person said, I joined your group last month and I'm up $19,000 this month because, because of your trading setups and educational videos. This person's up 247%, 369%, 518% on link. Again, high leverage trades, high risk, high rewards. This person's up 317%. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup posted in the trading group on the 17th of last month. Boom. Here is Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash again posted March 17th broke out 60% gain to over time. And, and you can see there's 1,584 people in the trading group. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. This was a setup that I posted in my trading group last night. A lot of people were saying, hey, this is a, this is a bear flag. This is a bear flag. It's going to break lower. Well, you have a, a pretty good support line down here. And there's a 64% chance, even though it is a technically a bear pennant, uh, it's still an ascending triangle which if you understand how this works you got you, you put in a low and then the next time the buyers this next low is higher than the previous low so the buyers are willing to pay a price higher than the last time bitcoin price retraced and then it happened again here so that gives you an idea that the demand's increasing as far as this price action goes and again looking for a move 7000 7100 boom here we are 7114 target hit. The important thing I want to make sure and explain to you guys when you watch my videos and you and you see this is a one hour chart. Okay, let's clean this up. This is a one hour chart. Each one of these candles represents one hour. This is a very short time frame. And these moves are going to play out very fast. You know, over the course of a day, maybe two days. Okay. The setups, the ideas, the signals, MACD crosses, divergences, it plays out relatively quickly. I mean, you go to a five minute time frame, stuff's going to play out constantly. You're going to be a day trader at that point. So you kind of want to find a sweet spot, right? I, if I put out five minute charts, it would not be valid by the time the video got uploaded. So, and I want you guys to just kind of understand that, hey, each one of these time frames 
gives an idea over a different period of time. So as an example, you've got, man, it almost looks like it's inverse head and shoulder-ish. Uh, for sure, there's this kind of rounding bottom in here, okay? And, and potentially you've got a bull flag here for Bitcoin. And so something like this might break out in, in the short term. A bullish cross of the 21 and the 200 coming. Uh, you just had a bullish cross of the 21 and the 50, and then you got your move to the upside. So again, there's a possibility that we see a break above this level and a run to about 7,400, but for the bulls to continue higher, you know, 7,250 and then 7,400 have to be broken. But then you zoom out, you go to the four hour chart. Four hour chart, you're, you're looking at potentially a week or two weeks for these patterns to play out, these ideas to play out. So I use a lot of terminology and verbiage that it's important to kind of understand where I'm coming from because I always get a comment and they're like, here you go, here's TA, it can either go up or down. Well, listen, this is this is a different time frame. Listen, you might be looking for a retrace here and that won't even really show up much on a four hour time frame, which would definitely won't show up very much at all, even a blip on the radar on the daily time frame. You go to the weekly and none of this even matters. Right. And so that's why I say, hey, don't get caught up with all this. If your strategy is not to, to make a bunch of trades, like the one hour time frame is probably insignificant. Four hour, not really even matter. Right. You want to go zoom out. Potentially, if you're looking at these major macro moves on Bitcoin, so you have to find there's no perfect time frame, right? There's a strategy and a time frame that works for you specifically, and you'll be able to determine that based on the, the commitment of time that you have to watch this market. A ton of people in my trading group, they're very busy. You know, they just watch the daily chart. They, they, they look at the signals, they trade the signals on the daily chart. You want to zoom in and get cute with all this trading and you can and you potentially could squeeze some more profits out of it, but it's a law of diminishing returns, right? If you spend 10 times more hours than the next person trading this market, it doesn't necessarily gonna mean you're making 10 times the gains, right? There, there's a point where the, the returns diminish over time, if that makes sense. So I really want you guys to focus. You guys have been watching me for a period of years, potentially. And you have to know that probably most of you understand that, uh, but just want to kind of clarify, like when I talk about, okay, here we're, we're watching the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, pay attention to this symmetrical triangle. I'm watching this white symmetrical triangle now. Yeah, there's a double top in here, but this double top doesn't get confirmed unless this breaks to the downside. Now, the important thing is the bulls put in a higher low here. Okay, this is a good sign for Bitcoin. Now we need that the bulls need this next high to be a higher high. So it needs to be above 7,200. Okay, and then it can move down and put in another higher low and still be okay. Potentially, like we talked about, there's a bit of a rounding type pattern here down at the bottom, possibly a parabola. Until this breaks, we have to assume that this pattern continues until it doesn't. It's that easy. Okay, now bullish scenario, 7,800, 8,000, but we got to get to 7,250 and then 7,400 first. If we break to the downside, you're looking at targets like 6,450, 6,250, uh, 5,800, but 6,650 is going to be hard to break for the bears. Now, easiest way to trade this market is let the price action decide for you. Use a stop loss and, and there's an amount of risk in every trade, right? The, the idea is to create an edge. Right? This is not about Babe Ruth. Let me call a home run shot in the World Series. This is about, hey, let me create an edge like Vegas. Right, Vegas always wins overall. You want to create an edge over time that plays out in your favor. And so over time, you're going to make winning trades. You could lose, you could be wrong half the time on your trades. But if you enter trades where the risk is low and the, and the rewards are high, you're going to make a ton of money, even if you're wrong half the time. And so a lot of people don't really understand like what this is about. They think it's a crystal ball. It's not, it's not what it's about. I want to create an edge. This is the Bitcoin daily chart. As an example, any setups or ideas I talk about on a daily time frame, it's not gonna happen tomorrow. Okay, this is, this. look at, the, remember this multi-month downtrend? This started in June of 2019 and we're still kind of flirting with this. I mean, we broke out of it, we're above it but potentially it's still on the radar. Okay, these same trend lines stay valid. Now you've got this small yellow trend line here. The bulls need to break above it. 
in order for any bullish momentum to occur, the bulls have to come and step up here soon. Let's zoom in. So we talked about how here in this candle, the bulls lost a 50 simple moving average. Well, guess what happened? It's a reversal candlestick pattern. And the daily closes in a couple hours. And so if we can put this strong green candle in for the bulls right now, this is huge, a reversal. And all of a sudden the price action is breaking above the 21 SMA. We're gathering data every single minute of every single day, every single minute, right? Things change. You gotta be able to flip bullish and bearish in this market, right? So that's why I always give you guys, here's a bearish idea, here's a bullish idea. You're going to have a strategy that works for you. Some people trade this market long, some people are holders, some people short this market, right? It just depends on what your trading strategy is. But this potentially, we could see this, you know, falling wedge that has a, a, a huge test. I mean, we have the halving coming up uh, around the 12th of May. This is a good start. It's a good move in the right direction. Not to say it's gonna be, you know, sustained, but just saying, hey, this is, this is good for the bulls. I, I found this pretty interesting. So this is the busiest days of the week. What would you guess the busiest trading days are? Monday for sure, like Monday for sure, but actually, Thursday is the second busiest day of the trading week. And so weekends are very subpar. Like they're not, there's a reason. And this is, I think more than ever, I used to be weekends were good for the altcoins. More than ever now, like weekends, there's just not a whole lot of price movements. Will this change? I think retail, when retail really FOMOs in, they're off on the weekends typically, right? So, so if retail has free time on the weekends, potentially this kind of changes over time, but interesting to see. Now the average time of day, now this is UTC time. The, the, most of the volume comes in right after the daily candle closes. And then a technically middle of the day UTC time or probably the 12 hour candle closes right? You see a peak and you can literally see this. Like I announced this, Hey everybody, we got volume coming in. I always say Asia's waking up or the United States is waking up so that people can just easily identify like, Hey, there's, there, we're about to see some volume. We're about to see an uptick in the, in the volume in this market. And here's why. So it was cool to find this graphic for you guys. Storm gain crowned cryptocurrency trading and exchange platform of the year. So this is a derivatives trading platform. Uh, the European, it's a popular business publication. A lot of decision makers read this essentially, and they've named it the cryptocurrency exchange platform of the year. This was one of the first cryptocurrency companies named for an award by the European. And here in this tweet, they talk about it. Hey, congratulations, you won. This is a good solution for those who want to profit from either the growth or decline of cryptocurrency markets. So the nice thing about trading derivatives is you can essentially short or long the market. So you can profit either direction. The platform currently allows traders to open positions with 200 X leverage, extremely high. Offers a fixed 10% APR on all cryptocurrency deposits and just concluded the world's largest cryptocurrency trading contest earlier this month. Stormgain will allow you to securely trade cryptocurrency futures contracts. So you can basically speculate, you know, you want to, you think the price is going to go up or down and then use leverage uh, to amplify the gains that you may see based on that movement in the price action. So again, this is next level. Eventually, a lot of people do graduate to the derivatives, futures, trading platforms and storm game seems like it's doing a pretty amazing job. Binance burned the highest number of BNB since 2017. Binance is going to be the Google of crypto. Do not forget it. So they burned a ton of coins. Now these are just coins taken out of the coin supply. They but the important thing to understand here is their expected profit in 2020 is gonna be near $1 billion. Another cool fact, fun fact about Binance is they're franchising, right? Binance US is not even owned by Binance. It's a franchise. They're just gonna sell their name and brand. Keep an eye on BNB. I found this tweet on Twitter. This person you know, pointed out, he, you know, he found this fractal essentially where you get these three peaks and then previously Bitcoin ran up considerably to about 11,000. And then here again, we've got these same like three peaks and he thinks, hey, the target now is going to be 9,000. These fractal ideas are pretty interesting to check out. Like, I don't know if I would trade solely on these fractals, but 
again, even though you have this like rounded top type bearish pattern, it still could break to the upside. And the S&P needs a bounce here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Bitcoin bounces with it. And I put, this is the same chart we talked about yesterday. And you see, you got a bounce here. So this overhead gap still technically needs to be filled by the price action. And, and you got this kind of rolling over effect, right? Typically bearish, but this could be headed lower and then bounce one more time. However, a lot of people are saying, oh, this is it. Everybody's calling for the pullback on the stock market. So again, you have to pay attention. Anything we, we can do to create an edge in this market. The Chinese court rules Ethereum as legal property. Previously, Chinese court had deemed Bitcoin legal property as well. So this is, I mean, it sets a precedent, legal precedent in China. So, I mean, this is big for, you know, obviously Bitcoin already and then Ethereum now. Central banks worldwide are purchasing assets in record amounts. Central banks buying big. In March alone, central banks of the group of seven countries purchased 1.4 trillion in financial assets. So the banks are betting on a quick recovery, a V-shaped recovery, it states. They're depending on it. They're not necessarily just hoping for it. If the recession looms for many years, these short-term efforts to buy up these assets may be followed by disastrous consequences. What they're saying is, hey, listen, if this rolls over and the, and the traditional markets don't continue to take off and rebound, this is a V-shaped recovery. See this? Stable coins are not inflating crypto markets, study concludes. And I saw this and I'm like, really? Stable coin issuance doesn't push the price up according to research funded by the University of uh, Cal State Berkeley. And so they said, hey, we find no systematic evidence that stablecoin issuance affects cryptocurrencies prices. Really? Stablecoins consistently perform a safe haven role in the digital economy. And I see that, safe haven, I get it. Now I would say, I would say all this tether printing, which happened again today, 120 million dollars worth of usdt printed again overall 2.45 billion usdt have been minted in 2020 huge gains in the market cap of tether why watch we're about to see we'll look back at this and we'll say you know all that tether we should have seen this coming like this this might be institutional money just ready to pump this having run up or a safe haven you know, for, for a quick decline in the price action. So you just gotta be on your toes, make sure and watch this market, set some alerts, stay up to date on everything you can crypto. Researchers are gonna fork Facebook and populate it with bots. I read this and I said, bots, are they taking over everything? And they will. They've already pretty much taken over cryptocurrency trading, right? That's, you have a bunch of bots that trade these markets, high frequency trading bots and algorithms and again it's not we're not trying to trade against them we want to trade with them we we essentially trade on the same ideas that they trade on they're programmed by humans but facebook is trying to pinpoint vulnerabilities and exploits so they want to launch a software simulation and they're basically going to fork facebook create a separate facebook it's going to be the same as the original one but they're going to essentially fill it up with bots that simulate human users behavior they're saying hey this should be seen like a game the most important thing that they, they want these bots to do is misbehave. They just want to have a bunch of reckless bots. These rogue bots are going to look for hapless bot victims. They're looking to create an underworld of Facebook. It's pretty amazing to, to understand like where we're headed just in society as, as far as technology goes. And just we have to prepare for this. Like we see a huge paradigm shift happening before us. There's a lot of things going on with this panic situation in the world. More people are going to be working from home forever. More classes are going to be taken online by college students. Like this potentially could drag on for a period of time. Like I don't think it's just going to disappear. There's going to be a lot of new opportunities coming, different opportunities coming in general in life. And online social media will become a bigger part of everybody's life because of it. So I want to kind of plant that seed with you guys. If you have any thoughts or ideas of kind of branching out and moving into social media um, on, a, on a career scale, I definitely recommend that you guys do that for sure. So essentially, they're going to create this realistic Facebook simulation. It's going to be a handy instrument to gauge the efficiency of ad campaigns. Potentially, this could be something going forward. But again, this is creating a whole new world of opportunity. 
it's just a paradigm shift. We, we're, we're real good as humans about you know overcoming adversity and we'll continue to do so. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.